Okay, so um, here is an example for you, right? Here is an example for you. So, for instance, we have this sentence over here, right? Our state, we work founder, okay? We work founder, um, Adam Newman, left his Manhattan penthouse for this 37.5 million. So, in this, um, if you use ent name entity recognition on this one, it's going to recognize that, okay, this we work as an organization, Adam Newman is a person, Manhattan is a location, and then 37.5 million is a monetary value. Okay, something like that. All right. And for instance, we have another one here. I hear Berlin is wonderful in the winter. Okay, so Berlin is what? Is a place. Winter is time. Okay, it's a particular period in time. All right, so something, something like that. So basically, that's what we use um, name entity recognition models to do, to identify the various name entities or the various keywords in the um, in our documents. Normally we just say name entity. We don't say keyword, but I mean, ideally it's just keyword. Okay. It could be a huge document like this, and then we'll be identifying the various um, name entities. Okay. So paper advertisement support here, this is an organization, right? If you try to read it, I right? can't skip to site index policies, blah, 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 blah. Then it's, it, it identified this one as what? An organization identify this one as a person right this one is as, as a person right fbi as a geopolitical entity okay and so on and so forth right trump as a person credit j um kirk patrick as a person new york as a place um times by adam Goldsman as uh, an organization and so on and so forth so this is what um i mean the name entity recognition model is gonna do it's just going to go through the entire um, document and then identify the various name entities for us. Okay. That's basically um, a task. So if you have customer feedback or if you have customer complaints, right, you want to go through the complaints and identify what the customer is actually referring to. So you can um, refer that particular customer to the appropriate um, department for, for them to deal with that particular issue. All right. Okay. So some, something like that. All right. Now, what, as I said, what we are trying to do is to go through the document and then extract these kind of things, okay? Something like people, the companies, places, money, links, um, I mean, phone numbers and so on and so forth, right? So that's what we try to do in, uh, in an NLP tax, which involves name entity recognition. So these are some examples of um, name entity recognitions that you can um, do, right? So um, you can find an organization, right? Something like say who, that's well thought organization. You can find something like a person, right? Example, I say um, President Obama, okay? Location, date, time, money, percent, facility, um, geopolitical entities, and so on and so forth, okay? Those are things that, I mean, your name entity recognition uh, model is going to identify in your, in your document, all right?